from the radio repair bench. This is the second installment of the Canadian Crosley farm radio from 1946. In the first video, we talked about uh, this radio, uh, how it was a battery powered farm radio. And by 1946, that was becoming more uh, uncommon as rural areas were electrified. Uh, but this was indeed uh, powered by a one and a half volt and a 90 volt uh, battery pack. But the way I had them temporarily hooked up to power this radio, I was uh, not happy with it. Uh, it was a bit of a, uh, a mess actually in the way it was configured as you saw in the first video. So I set about to make a battery pack I'm still very interested in seeing how this uh, radio originally was configured with the battery. So, there is on the back of this a pigtail, which we showed uh, we had coiled up in the original video. And I don't know if this pigtail is original or something that was ad added later on. I have to assume it was an original part of the radio. And what I did was I took and removed the batteries from inside the, uh, the case and put them in a small uh, can that will act as my battery pack. You can see basically what I did was took a small tin and um, attached to it up here a uh, tube socket that would adapt to the plug coming out of the radio. And so inside the can, I've got both my uh, string of nine volt batteries and also the one and a half volt battery. I've left additional wire so that when the lid is removed and the, the unit is unplugged from the battery pack, you can easily get in there and change out the batteries and refresh them when that time comes. So anyway, thought you would uh, would enjoy an update. Let's do one more shot here. And anyone that has information on this radio about how it was originally configured, I'd certainly uh, be interested in that. Thanks for watching. Please like and share below.